Joining me now is Kevin Saunders, a former Border Force Chief Immigration Officer. Kevin, what do you make of Lord Blunkett's proposal? Good evening. Well, I remember Lord Blunkett's original proposal when he was Home Secretary. And quite honestly, it's a very, very good idea. And I was extremely pleased to see that Stephen Kinnock, the Immigration Minister, um, came out supporting him. It was a little more disappointing when the uh, shadow Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, completely changed everybody's minds by saying it wasn't going to happen. But it, it's, let's, let's face it, ID cards work. They're a good idea. Everybody should carry them. They're great for working because you can't get a job unless you produce an ID card. So it would do great damage to the unregulated economy as well. Um, give them to migrants as well. Um, yeah, a fantastic idea. Right, but people are arriving on our beaches without documentation. What's to stop someone coming across and saying, sorry, lost my ID card in the sea? What, what happens then? Well, you'll have a database for this, a database which will have, no doubt have fingerprints and um, photographs on. So that gets around that problem. So before you get your ID card, you have your photo taken and the fingerprint taken. So you, um, you can only be one person and not two or three. So it's a good idea. I mean, let's face it. Europe has had ID cards since before the old queen died. And it works perfectly well in Europe. Everybody knows that they have to carry their ID card. And if they are stopped by the police because they've had an accident or something like that, and they're asked to produce their ID card and they can't, then they can be arrested. Good idea. Let's have it. Well, then, but if you're talking about people who are living in, in other countries. So someone lives in Syria and they're fleeing war or they're coming from, I don't know, Angola. They haven't got their ID cards over there. How are we going to enforce another country to have, make people have ID cards? They're literally No, just... if, if, a, if a migrant arrives in the UK, yeah. um, part of the, uh, the package will be to give them an ID card. Now, I would have national insurance numbers on ID cards um, as well. So instead of putting an NI number on uh, an ID card that you're going to give to a migrant, you would put PFA, person from abroad, on it so that they would, uh, that an employer would know that since that person hasn't got an ID card, they can't work. When that person is allowed to work in the UK, then his ID card is changed, he has a national insurance number on it, and he can work. OK, so let's, let's do a little role play. I've just come across from France on a small boat, landed on the beach, the, the, the powers that be take me in and say, we're going to give you an ID card and it's going to enable you to work and to have a national insurance number. Who are you? And I say, I've got no, no identification. My name is uh, JJ. I'm 15 years old. I'd like to be put in school uh, and given, given free school meals. You can't ID anyone. Everyone arrives here, you say, we'll give them an ID card, but you've got no proof of who they are anyway. So we're in the same predicament that we're in currently. Right. If, if you're a, first of all, if you're a 15 year old, you'll be given a child's ID card. You would have your photo, photograph taken, fingerprint taken, and that identity would be recorded against the name that you've given us. Unfortunately, we can't control the people that um, don't give us the right details, but we can enter them in, onto the system in the identity that they've given us. Therefore, that identity cannot be used again. And that person, if they're stopped for anything and their fingerprint is checked, then we will know who they, what identity they've given the authorities. Hmm, OK. I understand that. I just don't feel this is going to be a deterrent to, uh, to immigrants coming across. Well, it's not necessarily a deterrent. What it actually is, it stops people from working illegally. And that, that is a big move because... If you turn up at a building site and you want to work, you've got to produce your ID card for the uh, before that they will employ you. It works admirably in France. You can't work without an ID card. So it works very well. And you introduce a fining system so that if the employer on, say, the building site 
take somebody on without an ID card and my former colleagues from enforcement arrive and check everybody, then they levy a £10,000 fine straight away on the uh, employer. Yeah, good idea. Now, it's a very good idea. Now, Kevin, what happens um, with, the, with the black market trade? Because, let's be frank, in this country, we've had, we've had actual journalists get confused between Romelu Lukaku and Stormzy. So we're going to have some people coming here who some British people may think, well, yeah, this looks like the guy on, on this card, so I'm going to allow him to work here. And then your mates turn up from immigration and say, no, no, this isn't the person on the card. Here's a £10,000 fine. Setting all of this up is going to be a huge cost to have a massive... to have everyone fingerprinted, or all, all, all of the cloud costs and everything else. It just seems like a huge, massive expense for something that could possibly still be taken advantage of. Um, any any system that you that you uh, use will have people who want to try and get round it. That that's that will happen. Anything we have that with passports at the moment. We have people making passports, British passports, to try and get into the country. That's why we have forgery experts at our airports to check on these sorts of things. And we would have the same thing with ID cards, but people would try and make them and manufacture them. Um, but that isn't, that isn't a reason not to have them. You have them because it identifies you. And that's what we need, we need to happen. We need to be able to identify everybody. And yeah, there will be some people that slip through the net. I'm not saying that everybody, it'll work for everybody, but it'll work for most people. Well, Kevin, I think you're right, actually. You've convinced me. I think it is a good idea. And I think that immigrants will think it's a good idea too. Because what essentially we're saying to people is, if you come to the UK, we're going to give you a card and you can work. You can't find a job back home? Come here any way you want. We'll give you an ID card and a national insurance number and you can work and make an honest day's living. That's, that's great, isn't it? So it's an incentive to make people come here now as well. It, it, it's, it's a very good system and it's very fair as well because... It doesn't matter who you are. Um, if you've got a, an ID card with your photograph on it, uh, a national insurance number on it, uh, and your name, and it's you, it means you can work. It means you're legal. It means you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't have any problems at all. Um, there, there is, um, in the national insurance number, uh, there is a... a um, indicator that tells you when that national insurance number was issued as well so that's a secondary line of, def of defense or offense if you like so that's why i would have the ni numbers on it as well okay kevin uh thank you very much for your time thank right. you you're welcome you're welcome mate so